So Samsung is once again launching their new flagship processor, the Exynos 2400. And we saw the S23 series with only Snapdragon processors. But this time the S24 series like the S24 Plus and the S24 will have two variants. One with the Exynos 2400 and second with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. The question is, which one would you prefer? I mean, we've seen how much of a difference there was between the Snapdragon variant of the Samsung S22 Ultra and the Exynos variant of the S22 Ultra. And this has been the story with the all Samsung Galaxy S series before. People loved the Snapdragon version more than the Exynos version, mainly because of the efficiency, power consumption optimization, and speed. So will this Exynos 2400 is going to change that this time? I mean this processor has some pretty solid specs and some cool new AI features. So let's see how this chipset performs in benchmarks and explodes its specs and features in this full comprehensive review. So please watch until the end as I will explain everything in details. And we'll also compare this chipset to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and the MediaTek Dimensity 9300. I had hoped to see outstanding results of this chipset in the N22 version 10, but their scores are average in terms of benchmarks. I mean, the chipset scores are still lower than the MediaTek Dimensity 9300 and the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. They are still sufficient for intense gaming and day-to-day -day use it. In the N22 version 10, Exynos 2400 achieved a total score of 1,665,442. And breaking down the scores, the CPU scores 513,835. And the GPU scores 590,514. And the memory scores 319,762. And the UX scores 259,800. 11, resulting in a total score of 1,665,452. And talking about the Geekbench 6 cores, it achieves a single core scores of 2080 and the multi core scores of 6582, which is okay for this chipset. The Exynos 2400 features 10 core CPU configuration with a diverse range of cores, including one ultra fast core based on Cortex X4 clocked at 3.1 GHz, two high performance Cortex S720 cores clocked at 2.9 GHz, three other high performance cores based on Cortex S720 clocked at 2.6 GHz, and four power efficiency cores based on Cortex i520 and are clocked at 1.8 GHz. This chipset is based on ARM version 9 slash A instruction set architecture. And this chipset is fabricated on a cutting edge 4 nanometer processor node by Samsung, which means this chipset will be power efficient and speedy and will likely to conduct less heat. In GPU, the Exynos 2400 features Samsung Sclips 940 GPU, which is based on a Samsung Sclips architecture and operates at frequency of 1200 megahertz. We will see this GPU and CPU in action the S24 series. So for that, you have to stay updated with my channel by subscribing it. The Exynos 2400 RAM is based on the quad-channel LPDDR5X RAM with a memory frequency of 4200 MHz. And this chipset can support a maximum RAM of up to 24GB. And talking about the storage, this chipset supports UFS 4.0 storage technology for faster read and write speeds. The Exynos 2400 boosts several noteworthy features. It supports the latest NBO4 AI driven tasks and supports a maximum camera resolution of up to 320 megapixels, which is amazing. And this chipset has 18 bit RAW ISP for advanced photography and videography. And believe me, this chipset is very good at it. And if you talk about the video capabilities, then this chipset can support 8K at 30 frames per second and can also playback at 8K at 30 frames per second. This chipset also supports various latest codecs of audio and video. Video. The Exynos 2400 offers a robust connectivity features with the Exynos 5300 modem supporting 4G LTE CAT24 and 5G. It provides impressive download speed of up to 10 gigabytes per second and upload speed of up to 3.8 gigabytes per second, making it suitable for high speed data transfer. Additionally, the chipset also supports Wi-Fi 7 and the Bluetooth 5.4, ensuring reliable wireless connectivity options for various devices and applications. This chipset represents a significant upgrade from the last gen Exynos 2200 as it employs 10 cores to compete effectively. This is a positive development, especially considering that the standard S24 
and the S24 Plus models will feature this chipset. And as you might know, the standard S23 and the S23 Plus models haven't sold as well as the S23 Ultra. If you examine the sales chart of the previous S series smartphones, you will notice that the S Ultra series smartphones sells better. Samsung's strategy here involves equipping this S24 Ultra with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, while the regular S24 and the S24 Plus will have two variants, as I mentioned, one with the Exynos 2400 and other one with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. So that's it for this review. Additionally, there will be an S24 Ultra review coming out soon. If you want to see that review, please consider subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss a new video from my channel. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. So my name is Hamza, this is Headstack and see you in the next video. If you want to watch the full review of the MediaTek Dimensity 9300, then that video is right here. And if you want to see the full review of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, then that video is right here. Thank you for watching.